Hi, and welcome back to the Find Getting Started tutorials. In this video, we're going to look at window handling and how to manage multiple windows in a single application. So let's get started with the same basic code that we used in the Hello World tutorial. You can see that we created one application and its window, set the content to a label and showed the window and run the application. At the time, we mentioned that show and run was a helper method that showed the window and ran the application. We're going to explore this a little bit further just now. So we show the window and then run the application. This will run the same as before, but now we've separated show and run, we can put other code in here before we run the application and the main go routine gets blocked until the application closes. We can demonstrate that by creating a second window. We'll call this W2 and we do the same as above, creating a new window from the application. We'll give it a title, let's call it larger for reasons that will become clear. And then we set the content of this window as well. We'll add another label, widget.newLabel, and we'll say more content. And we can show this window as well. And so now you can see we have two windows being created and shown and the application is then being run. We call this window larger. It's not always desirable to have the window show at exactly the smallest size to fit the content. So in this case, we can call resize and that's going to request that the application window is shown larger and we can pass a new size. In this case, 100 by 100. These units are device independent. They scale just like your fine application and so it doesn't refer to a specific number of pixels on the screen, but more the concept of device independent pixels that you may become familiar with as you work through your application with fine. Now, if we run this application from our terminal, you will see that it shows two windows. We have the Hello World window and we have the larger window with more content inside it. Now the application there closed when both of the windows had gone. There were no windows visible, so the application exited. If we prefer, we can set one of the windows to be master so that the application only closes when that window is closed. To do that, we call set master on that window. And so if we run this code again, we can see the multiple windows. And if we close this hello world, which is the first, the master window, the application exits directly. Now those windows have both been created as the application starts. It might be desirable to create a window later. So let's replace this label with a button. New button. We'll pass the label open new. And we'll make a function here that is going to open another window. So just like before, we can create a third window with a dot new window. We'll call it third. And in this window, we'll set the content to be basically the same as the others. Set content to a new label. And we'll call that third as well. And then we can w3 dot show. And if we then run this code, you'll see the same two windows appear initially. But if we go to this window, the content is now this button for open new. And when we tap it, the third window appears above the others. And we can just close all of those away and our application will exit. Well, I hope this has been helpful and has extended your understanding of how to manage multiple windows in a fine application. Please join us later for another Getting Started tutorial.